Hello, um, we're going to be looking at the UI slider today. So let's create a new project. Uh, there'll be another single view application. Uh, we'll just call it slider fun. Let's uh, move this and make it a little bit larger. And now we can just go to the main storyboard. Um, Got to change the color of it. All right, uh, I'm gonna. This time, I'm actually gonna preview it while I'm building it. So now we have an idea of what it will look like as we add stuff to it. And the things that we add, the objects we add, are normally not gonna look like they should on the phone as we add them here because we'll have to add constraints but we'll go through that as we go so first we'll add a label that we're gonna call slider value uh, center that um, I'm gonna make this a little bit larger And then uh, we'll increase the font size. And I think 35 is probably good. And as you see, it's it doesn't know where it should be, so it's kind of putting it in the middle, like on this. But we'll fix that later. Next, we'll add another label that we're going to call, well, it's not going to have a name. It's going to actually hold the value of our slider. And so we'll give it an initial value of 50. Now we can also increase the size of this. And stretch it out a little bit. And the last thing we actually need to add is the slider itself. So we go grab it and drag it into our view. And we'll make it both sizes so everything's uh, roughly the same size. And so this is basically our application here. But as you see, it's kind of not on screen there. And actually, I think we forgot to change the slider value to go to 100 instead of 1. And to have an initial value of 50 and not 0.5. Okay, now everything's where it should be. Um, let's change... We'll see if we can just add missing constraints and if that'll Okay, so that's not gonna work this time, so we'll clear it out. Then we'll try give it another try. It's still not centering everything. Oh, because I didn't center everything. Okay. That makes sense. All right, so let's clear those. Let's clear all the constraints out and try this again. All right, now everything worked out. So our application on our phone will look like this, and. All we need to do is add code to it so we can actually read the slider value. So we'll go up, go to our view controller. I'll make this window a little bit smaller now. And we'll add, well, first we need to add some references. Uh, we need to make some connections. So we need to, this value is going to change based on this. So this needs to be connected in our uh, view controller. Uh, we'll just call it a uh, slider display. Uh, enter, give ourselves a little bit more room. All right. So then next, we need to read. We need to know when the user interacts with the slider. So we'll select it and we'll drag that over here. No, I think I grabbed the wrong thing. All right, yeah, now we have the UI slider. 
um, we'll just say M slider. And the last thing we need is an action as before, and the action is going to be when the user is actually, you know, sliding this um, from one direction or another. So we'll go over here to make connections. And we're going to, the action we're going to want is the value changed. So we'll drag that over into our view controller. And we'll say uh, slider changed. So now whenever the slider changes, uh, we'll, we'll call this action right here. Um, to start off, uh, we'll enter, so we want to change our text, our label, which we call slider display. So we'll say slider display, and we want to change the text of it. So text. And we're going to say that it's going to be equal to, we want to know the slider, so M slider. Slider, and it's going to be, oh, I think it didn't work. So M slider. And we want to know the value of it. And as you see, it's going to return a float, and this is expecting a string. So it's going to give us an error if we were to try to run this program right now. Um, to make, uh, to convert a, well, va a value, either a float or a double or an int or any a value, we just have to create a string for it. And this is how you do that with a Swift. You put uh, parentheses around it and then uh, quotes. And so now this will actually run. And we're running it right now, but it's it's not going to do, uh, well, it won't be as pretty as we would normally want it to be, as you'll see. Because what it's going to return is a float, which means it's going to be between, it's going to be between a 0 and 100, but it'll be, with, it'll go like 0 0.9501, and you'll have a bunch, you'll, you'll have decimal places for your values, which could be okay depending on what you want to design, but normally you want it to be an integer. So like one, two, three, four. Uh, we'll just give it a quick run to show that that's what it's gonna do. And so what we're gonna wanna do to change this is actually change the value. So we'll stop this. We're gonna change this value into an integer, which is fairly simple as well. We just have to cast it, which we just have to say int, and we'll put parentheses around this. And now this slider should return integer value, so it's just going to cut off the point, uh, whatever it is, 0.52 or 0.25 or whatever value it gives us. So we'll run our program again. And now when we slide it, you see it's just a regular integer value. Um, one more thing I wanted to discuss before I end is if you want the slider to actually uh, have include values when they're sliding it or only when they stop. And that's actually just a easy uh, button click, or just a, a property that you set right here. Uh, I think we have it selected. Let's try. So right here under events, it says continuous updates. If we click this and run it again, the value for the slider will only change after the user has uh, completed sliding it. So right now it's not going to do anything, but once I stop, it'll give us a value. And uh, that concludes today's lesson. Uh, Thanks for watching.